It's my pleasure to introduce our first speaker of the night, Bill Coleman. Uh, Bill is the co-artistic director of Coleman Lemieux and Company. His choreographic work has been presented in Glasgow, New York, Montreal, St. Petersburg, Russia, and Edinburgh, and right here at Calgary's Fluid Fest. But not only that, Bill and I were chatting before, uh, and he was talking about how he brings dance into life, and how he has brought work to the uh, Altea Mountains in Mongolia, to the Grasslands National Park in Saskatchewan, uh, and uh, right to our beautiful backyard at the Banff National Park. So I'm thrilled to introduce you to Bill Coleman. Come on up, Bill. I've been dancing since 1979, so I've spent a lot of time in my body. Uh, my life is, I've sort of included all my life uh, into the sphere of dance, so um, uh, I've sort of toppled into things a little bit like what happens in the studio. Um, the words of the underwater pioneer Jacques Cousteau echo my sense of wonder 13 years ago when I began to focus on the experiences of what was going on inside my body as I moved. Inspiration seems to come at you and overwhelm you. Um, here you can see me sort of wrestling with my dance life and uh, the other parts of my life. Okay. Inspiration seems to come at you and overwhelm you. Jesuit priest and scientist, Teilhard de Chardin's wonder of life, provides an example for me to try to fall into life through movement. I am plumbing the depths of inner movement and experience using a practice that begins with 60 minutes of complete stillness, holding fast, and then gradually encouraging involuntary movement to issue throughout the whole body. This elicits a hyper experience of not only your own body, but the world around you. It entails diving into yourself, sustained rigor, resulting in a hyperreal topple. In these slides you see myself, uh, Wan Mayan Wan and Carol Prier, uh, as we experience this work in the studio. It looks like this. You fall, topple, you feel movement comes out, but it takes a long time, and there's a rigor to it, so it's, um, I'm also extending uh, the work we do, this is the work that's the basis of all the movement that we do, I'm also extending it uh, to site-specific work, um, I create work, i created work in Grasslands National Park, uh, Banff National Park, Grossmoor National Park, as well as uh, in Mongolia. This is a, a 3D film called Outside In uh, that was shot in Newfoundland where we are sort of trying to remain in this in this sort of deep, uh, almost embodied cognitive state uh, and then the director is, is putting us in various environments. This one was a cold one. <laughs> it's a hot day, but it didn't count. That work I've sort of taken to a lot of different places. You can see uh, us doing it outside and inside. Um, but I've been, uh, this is uh, the late Jackie Burroughs, who's, uh, who's a, a great actress. You probably remember her from the Anna Green Gables uh, series. That's her sort of uh, falling, toppling into life. Uh, in this case, it's a, uh, a construction site, uh, 75 acres of revitalization. Uh, of North America's oldest slum in Regent Park in Toronto, which Jackie performed uh, with us. Um, I've also been sort of working on uh, a new work, which uh, loosely it titled Ectoplasmotion, uh, and that work is uh, where we're going to sort of, a little bit like in this sort of early uh, operating room, uh, we're going to be sort of surrounded uh, by people 
and uh, and they're just going to be watching us quite closely as we go through the whole the whole arc of the practice. So they'll see stillness, and they'll just sort of watch slowly as our bodies come come awake, and they'll begin to see uh, movement happen on, on the small parts of the body, toes, uh, and then eventually you sort of have the movement going into um, larger muscle groups like the psoas and things like that, and that's that sort of uh, Starts, you know, starts moving us around. This is a sort of an image of what it, it sort of feels like when you go in, it feels like the body's an enclosed space, but once you're sort of searching around in there and spending a lot of time listening to inside it, there's, a, there's sort of a, a whole world. It's a, bit, it's a bit like the TARDIS. <laughs> Back to the real world, I'm here doing Dollhouse. It's a, it's a piece where I, uh, um, it's, a, it's a sort of an environment where I, I struggle against this, a, a series of environments, uh, I, I, knock a, I knock a lot of things over. In this photo, that's a, it's another piece I'm doing for a musical ensemble, so halfway through I walk in and tread on a violin, and then I abuse a cello. <laughs> Doesn't make music lovers happy. Uh, like Chardin, these life explorers, Sun Ra and Gurdjieff, who we see, uh, achieved great depths. Preceding uh, their awakening was the rigor of experience. To topple a static object or life, there must be much life force or movement. It took Ali eight rounds of delicate boxing and absorbing incredible punishment before he was able to topple uh, George Foreman with a, with a single right cross, quite delicately executed. Of recent days, I'm seeing the falling, the topping, the falling into life. I'm seeing the downward tra trajectory of this, uh, the descent towards paradise, uh, images of the fallen uh, are haunting me a lot, and here we see the excavation of Pompeii. Um, so there's something about the, the it, to elicit movement, you have to sort of let something go. Gravity's going to do that anyway, you know, you'll sort of fall asleep and then fall over, but you have to sort of let something go. Uh, and so it's about, it is about descent in order to go to different places. And so looking at bodies that are, are the fallen bodies, moving bodies, bodies in a downward trajectory uh, are sort of haunting me. Uh, and I'm sort of moving myself towards creating work with and about uh, street people, uh, basically about the people who seem to have fallen from life. Using mysticism, an image, I've been trying to summarize it all. And uh, this is a, a, a diagram I made uh, that's kind of mysterious. Um, that tries to, I try to summarise uh, ectoplasmotion or the idea of being in life through movement.